Alrighty, let's look at rectangular pattern real quick if we can. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make some simple geometry. We already have, should have a, a rectangle in our uh, design to begin with. So let's just throw a circle in there. And so what I'm going to do here now is under this create tab, I'm going to click on rectangular pattern. So this, this up on the right side will pop up a menu that allows you to click on your objects that you're going to move. So we're going to, we're going to repeat this circle and you see these two arrows pop up. So you can manipulate it using this pane on the right, or you can manipulate using these arrows. And I'm going to use these arrows because it tends to be a little bit easier and we don't have any very specific dimensions we need right now. So when you do rectangular pattern, you can do in one direction, uh, but you can also do in two. That way we create a rectangular pattern of something in a rectangular way. So you repeat that geometry in two dimensions. So we did, you know, width and then height. Alrighty, and then we can then click OK, and then now what it does is it creates that geometry as permanent rectangular geometry. Alrighty, guys, and then now let's go ahead and do the next one. Let's do some circular geometry. So let's create a rectangle right here. Alright, now when you do a circular geometry, you have to have a center point for it to rotate around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a point, and this point is just going to be you know, right here on that line. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on create, and let's hit circular pattern. So we're gonna repeat, and I'm gonna click on all four pieces. And you know on the right side we have this pane pop up again, and now we're gonna click on center point. Center point, because we're gonna rotate it about that center point, and you can increase it how many times you want that geometry to repeat. Then you click okay, and you're done. All right, guys, that'll be it for you know rectangular pattern and then a circular pattern. Kind of use them as you need. Click on the geometry first, then can be concerned about your directions, and you should be good to go. All right, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video.